Hey guys, another episode of Graph Talks. I'm here with obviously my good friend Mick. and partner. Okay. And he definitely forgot the name then for a second. <laughs> <laughs> and the owner of the longest eyelashes in the industry, Mick Griffin. About to become a very strong eyelash influencer <laughs> to this video. <laughs> We're reviewing obviously the, the the products and the websites of the popular SaaS uh, companies. Um, uh, right now, we decided to move towards uh, the most popular products mm -hmm. out there. We've just reviewed uh, the homepage of Intercom, uh, and today we like to interview, to review, interview, to interview, to. We can interview Slack. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Should we continue? He definitely wants to cut, but let's just keep going. Really? Know. Yeah, let's okay. do it. Sure. So, um, yeah, you know, again, if we, we, we use Slack, but one thing that you find with these tools is once you've signed up and you, you, you never actually re the homepage. visit the homepage anymore, yeah. you just go straight to the login pages. So, uh, again, super successful uh, internet company. Um, Probably the most successful as, as SaaS company in the history, right? The, um, I the mean, hyper growth. Crazy for so, and I think that you know we're always so crazy about Slack because it was such a simple solution. You know, some companies had over uh, complex, over over complicated this type of right, solution, yeah. made it you know really advanced. And Slack came along with the super simple tool. I think I remember even when when I joined Brand Twenty Four, I was like, guys, come on, let's do something different. And you guys, no, oh, it's okay, give it a try. And look Bam. where we are now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. So we use Slack every day. Uh, we used to have a Skype uh, as a internal communicator within the company, but it, it yeah. Slack like just saved a lot of email. Sure. Right now, it's becoming another problem because it's also a distraction. So we are trying to leverage sure. all those, you know, uh, notification uh, mutes and 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 and, mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and and stuff like this. But yeah, let's review their website. It's uh, straight away. It's clean. It's uh, it's the I would say the Slack style uh, in terms of the design and the graphics. Sure, sure. Uh, we, we we pretty much get used to it. Mm -hmm. um, I, I like this graphic much better than the intercom. If you see the, the previous episode, we mm -hmm. saw the similar graphic on intercom and it wasn't really that uh, clear what it does. Mm -hmm. Right here, I like it much better. You can see several sure. people in the company working on, on, on the project, contributing files, charts, talking about stuff. Sure. I love the slogan, work, work happens. Sure, absolutely. Uh, everything here makes sense. Um, yeah, the, the graphic is exactly what you want to achieve. Mm -hmm. You want to have that in-person feel mm -hmm. from an online tool, so that makes sense as well. Um, and yeah, I mean, the only thing I would say is like the the subtext is a, is a little bit long, just a little bit. Right. You know, it, I'm looking at it now and I'm like, I'm, I, if I read it, I'm going to be quiet for like a minute. Uh -huh. But it's like uh, where your team needs to kick off a project, hire a new employee, design some code, review a sales contract. Uh, okay, it's. It's true, maybe, but, but it's weird, right? That they, they, they put so many applications. Uh, you would have just said internal company communicator or something. Like yeah, that. yeah, pick two or three, maybe. You know, uh, I'm, you know, a hire a new employee. It's a stretch on Slack. A B uh, me measure and A B test. I, I, maybe with the uh, maybe with the integrations. Maybe uh, I'm but, sure it's possible. But it's not it's the just, main reason why you use it's Slack. Just I would I would never like A B test is it's not in top hundred of words sure. or applications. And uh, that comes to my the mind. The irony of it for me is that I've recommended Slack to some really crazy. So you know, uh, back home in the UK, uh, I'm I, the old mm -hmm. amateur rugby team that I used to play for. They have a committee, they talk, and so on. Right. And I was like, guys, get on Slack. Like, you know, you meet once a month, three days, and they're like, what's Slack? I don't know. And then I read when I read this, I realize again they're not aiming for that kind of group. Right. Even though those groups might be using them, it, it, it's. Uh, do you do you still have their socks? I do still have the Slack socks. They they are pretty cool. They were pretty limited edition. Pretty cool merchandise marketing. They example. were very true. All right. Not mentioned on the homepage. <laughs> I also like because it's uh, uh, it's it's clean. It's it's not over yes crowded. Although I, I you could probably use some numbers and log it up straight away, right? And the one thing that they don't have, which the other 
companies have is they don't have this trust part. So they're not talking about who uses them straight away. Right. And I think that might be because Slack, unless I'm proven wrong in a second, but I don't know if they're trying to not be isolated into a type of company. So we'll see because it's not here second, right? So um, I hope be. for your team and for your work. Plus, they might be just like, meh, we're growing with, I don't know, 50,000 businesses a, a week. For sure. Now, I remember that's the ironic thing is that I, I I still stick in my mind that this, I remember Slack used to have a different type of homepage and it was amazing because they had like three or four homepages that rotated depending on when you came. Oh, yeah, 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 and it yeah, was yeah. like, we helped the NASA Mars rover team. And then the next one was like, we helped the Arctic, like amazing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like the whole homepage was a case study without even clicking on anything. You're like, wow, NASA uses Slack. And I, I missed that a little bit, but I think that it's still might be visible to some extent when you're Somewhere. trying to sign up because okay. I, I remember uh, not sure if it's still out there but I, I seem to remember that they had a, a registration form when they divided page to two sections and on the left side he had the uh, use case with okay. like the human face of uh, sure. I know Demi from uh, Envision that likes the product and use it for okay. something like that sure, sure. but not anymore I guess yeah, but I mean, again, and that was I just like it's one of the only home pages that mm -hmm. ever stuck with me. But, right. Um, the hub for your team and your work makes a lot of sense. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Channels, search, integrations, security. I remember that the first time I've heard about Slack, uh, that the pitch was that it's searchable. Uh, that you can uh, search within, which is a, it's a it's a really valuable we, feature. But to you be don't. Honest, but I don't use that. To be is honest, I use it a lot. I, really? <laughs> really, I do. Especially when it's like I was talking to somebody about such a thing, and you go in and it's and for oh, the okay. file sharing as well. Oh yeah, yeah. That. But the only thing for me is that I'm just again I feel like they're pitching these super early before I know the true benefit of, mm -hmm. of the tool. So maybe they are approaching people who already know what they want. A communication platform for right. and they're already talking about the fact that you can search it you know i don't really you know if i was a brand new person and i didn't know what slack was for mm -hmm. i would still be expecting kind of things here like easy to use uh but obviously again obviously they are doing it right it's just i was quite i'm quite surprised that features is so high on their home page so i'm guessing these will click into uh, so here we've got built for every team uh, no matter what your job title or department um, I, again, I still am kind of shocked that they are really so, uh, so, so like it feels like they're isolating a lot of people that could use the tool. But then again, we talk about problems with, with tools being too generic. Oh, yeah. So it kind of pro and, pro and con. But I, I still mean, lo of... love the love those this, this landing pages. I mean, even the. Uh, the, examples. The, the, the examples of animated GIFs. That, super ta or it's super yeah, orientated. You know it right away. W how does it look like yeah, yeah. In, in real life? So it's super, super Very true. Cool. Very true. Um, and I, I, I like the slogans within each section. Get more mm -hmm. steals. Execute a winning marketing strategy. So it's more about the words, but I, I get it, right? And, sure. Um, most of marketing is, uh, is still... Ki kind of a strange graphic. Yeah, so like a book... And a an ticket, airline and ticket, purse, I feel... <laughs> like like maybe, flight to New York uh, maybe, maybe, But maybe this is what they're talking about. It's on the fly, but maybe. Or maybe they just really think that marketing people spend a lot of time just flying around doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so. From coordinate, coordinating plans coordinating while flying, okay. I don't know. Interesting. But basically, yeah, so I like that, you know, I, I'm i surprised that they don't offer a little teaser just to, to tell you where you're going. Mm -hmm. But still, obviously people click, and it's great to have really sensitive case studies to what you do. So I'm looking at it from a sales perspective, I see that Salesforce leads can go straight into right. Slack, job done, where do I sign up? Like, I don't need any more than that, so. This slogan is on literally any, every SaaS website, yeah. it, shortly including ours. <laughs> yeah. You're in a good company. It's, it's funny because, you know, it's, uh, uh, the company means... It's got two meanings. Yeah, yeah it's a yeah. pun because, you know, the company is also like, I'm in the company of I get Mick. It. And we're in the same company as Brand24. That's and it's a good company because it's a good company. Because we like each other and the company is good. <laughs> it's, it's, 
It's definitely it's put funny. it on the website when we get out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. there should, do you think that there should be explanation of this joke? Well, like underneath. You are in a good company. Ha ha ha! It's funny because company is. Shit. Yeah, that would be cool, sure. right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no. I'm, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm partly serious because it would be like an ab abstract joke. You're still watching. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Shut now up. we're in um, case study, uh, case study, uh, and here we're starting to get the list of companies that use LVMH them. LVMH um, away. And I feel like maybe it's just a gut feeling. I guess that they have a lot of case studies. I guess these guys are pretty good at this. <laughs> you so. mentioned NASA, right? Yeah. But I also mean like displaying them and pulling them together, uh -huh. like, you know, uh, we, 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 we suck at this a little bit and we need to get better at it, but... Um, and this is really interesting. They they are either under the they've got a section here which is like what's new at Slack. Mm -hmm. Means that they are saying either this is amazing uh, website that knows that we've been there before. What's interesting here is the what's new at Slack section. Mm -hmm. I've never really seen this before on a homepage on a SaaS technology tool. Yeah. Um, maybe I did ten years ago because you know we used to kind of combine blog posts, articles, but that's true. but we've kind of cut them, and it's really interesting to see that Slack do it here. Now maybe that's because they want to show that they're fast moving, there's stuff going on. Um, just just interesting that they've put a what's new with articles right here on the homepage. Uh, but you would imagine that what's new sounds like a features change log. Uh, more like, uh, and less like sure. ebooks and latest content. Yeah, imagine. yeah. I mean, it's it's a very interesting, like, I'm, I'm, I like it in a way that it's, uh, it's nice. But again, I, I'm always just concerned at this point if you put deep dive content on the homepage and you get people to click it, uh -huh. so, you know, uh, more control and convenience at Slack, and suddenly I'm deep into reading quite a long blog post for five or 10 minutes, it's a big risk that I'm gonna go straight back to Slack and continue the sign up process. Right. So, um, I'm not saying, obviously, you know, those guys have done it, so maybe it works. For me, it's a little risky to put such such distracting content at the point where you want someone to sign up. Just like you said, this is likely an advanced content that yes. would. Push I'm not gonna you. skim. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, I, I'm, I'm, it, it's a, a very interesting thing I haven't seen before, so we can't say that it's good or bad, but. Uh -huh. um, I would be concerned that we would lose people uh, right. and they would still be getting educated, which is great, but you know, it's, maybe it's for people that dig deeper. Mm -hmm. But the other thing is that what I've noticed is they are putting a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of faith in that call to action at the top startup bar. Have you noticed that they don't have call to, actions call to actions as right. you go through the page maybe they until have the very ups. bottom <laughs> yeah yeah they actually it's a freemium so yeah. maybe they're getting a bit tried down with all those all those uh, let's, freeloaders uh, let's, uh, let's hide some call to actions guys we, are, we, we, we have, have this enough. problem at brand 24 actually you need to slow down a little bit with those trials we, we, we <laughs> not a chance so uh, yeah uh, all in all I, I i love the the home page probably i could i again I really love the numbers on, on, mm -hmm. on pages like this, so I would probably even make it a, a real-time counter of signups of people who... Users, imagine the number of users they that they ha have. They like, have millions, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. or tens of millions. I that, mean, I, I don't know about you guys, but I already know that I've, I'm have i I'm logged into probably like four different Slacks uh, on my laptop. Right, you know, yeah, yeah, communities. So, SaaS uh, Alliance, etc., uh -huh, uh -huh. like all those kind of things, so... Uh, super popular tool, super easy to set up, um, really nice website. Uh, we are probably still, again, as we talk, a little bit biased because we use it and we love it. It's an integral part of our business. Um, yeah, like, again, I, I, I think we're seeing a, a different revolution of their company as well. Mm -hmm. They are much less pitchy, much less salesly on their homepage, a little bit more confidence. Again, they're not throwing those big brands at you early, which I would think that they definitely have them, <laughs> <laughs> but they're not throwing NASA. Like, but I mean, I, for me personally, I, I love that NASA thing. I thought, the, and it was so yeah. graphics and the images were beautiful, but um, they've but, become a little bit more calm, like sign up at the bottom, 
don't sign up at the top. We're not going to keep hitting you. Take your time. Read right. the content. It seems a lot much more of a calmer, patient website. But maybe, maybe just like you said, it's it's a different stage. Maybe, yeah. m- maybe it is uh, is like it's not you. It's me. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's us. <laughs> yeah. It, not understanding what, what it's what it's like to have millions of users already oh and absolutely just, uh, having absolutely. a different kind of priorities but it's also just nice to see those big companies that are not afraid to change the website mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. and com- what what from memory is a complete changeover you know they've completely revamped and revamped right. and revamped it's like the third or fourth time i've seen a new slack homepage and yeah luckily they definitely have the uh well, probably let's say they have the patience to to ch- check and try and try new things but i'm sure that they've also got uh requirement think- to grow they probably still right. have conversion do you think they have to worry about some competitors like i don't know podio uh, uh i'm <laughs> No, not, uh, I think that Slack was the Atlassian equivalent. Uh, Jira, no, no, not Jira, but uh, obviously uh, it was uh, it was first. Uh, yes, team chat. Yes, right? it was. I remember what you mean. Uh, I don't remember the name. And that it was Yammer. Yammer was like a Yammer weird that, internal social. Yeah, yeah, but it was it was sales sort, sort, sort of a sort of bot, but Microsoft sales. Yeah, that's yes, yeah, yeah. Um, the Atlassian. What was the name? For the love of God, I know I pitied. Uh, I pitied them because they were first in their. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I think I think that they've uh, kind Atlas, of merged. Ad, or, or Atlassian or surrenders to Slack is a nice uh, <laughs> new slide there. So ah. stride. Atlassian plus Slack is stride. I know what you mean though, they definitely had a different tool Hip for chat. this. Hip chat. That was the one. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It was years before Slack and then yeah. pretty much did similar things. So I mean, not getting into too much business talk, but Slack were super bold with going freemium, right? Like, yeah. I still believe that was a massive drain on their resources uh, in terms of, you know, hosting those kind of things. Right. Um, they don't put a huge amount of push onto monetization early. Huh? So I remember even with us, once you get to like 10K mentions or 20K mentions, they right. start talking to you about the fact that you're just not keeping an archive. Right. Um, but they again, they played their confidence card and, and it worked. Mm-hmm. And I think that that was a big thing, right? Like you could start Certainly, for free. Yeah. And I think the big push they put on integrations is huge. I mean, the integrations are amazing. We, you know, we have and so much notifications going into Slack. And it's a really good move. They, they uh, turning yourself into platform uh, is, is, is just always the, the best move. This is probably why Facebook uh, uh, became what it is. Uh, and, I mean, I, I'll be honest with you, I, it's the first thing I check on my phone every day because I want to check if anything's going on here. I want right. to see if we got sales. It's my go-to place to know if Brand24 gets a new client uh, or a client that needs help. So uh, just making it the integral, making it that right. centralized part of your workload is super smart i like how they keep it simple in the menu as well yep so it's so it's super uh, limited in terms of there's options. not 25 landing would, pages and to you would imagine by. that you know with the small way smaller company like ours we yep. have way more uh sections here yep. and i don't think that this is a that this mm-hmm. might be a good move sure no absolutely uh, but I mean, again, I, I, I wish we maybe there's a way for us to do it for the next time is to go back and see Slack's version one or version two website. That would be awesome. Um, to go and have a look at the archive and see if we can see the different way that they launched. Mm-hmm. Because, it, yeah, maybe now they are just a little bit like we can be calm, we have the traffic, we have right. the, the audience, we can, we can take it. But um, uh, beautiful website. Yeah. Simple, makes Sim- sense. Simple tool. Uh, ironically, Presented as a simple tool, but so resourceful. On oh, the it's back so end, difficult so. to create a simple communication and simple, to, uh, yeah. a, a simple design. <laughs> and on this positive note, that's it for this episode. If you have any questions, any uh, requests, well, let us know what do you think about the Slack communication, Slack homepage, and yeah, we'll see you soon. Yeah, see you soon, guys.